Margaret. I've seen that face before. Another story about to hit the internet. What do you regret doing this time? No, it's not. Not that. For what? What is it? They're calling it an extinction level event. Every day, maybe two. Before what? They don't know. We need to get back to Washington. Mr. President, Carson, I have members of the cabinet ready to reconvene, sir. Good. I just told Margaret we need to get back. The Secret Service thinks it's unsafe for you to fly, sir. The FAA has suspended all travel until further notice. Until we know what's happening. Set it up here, in the hotel. Keep the vice president in D.C. Yes, sir. My God. What are we going to do? Well, Leo might not have missed you, but Terry sure did. You still getting letters from Houston? He emails them every day. I think that's kind of cute. Yeah. So the Fed sent a SWAT team to the house to bust up your stalking. We need global coordination. Look, I want briefings every 10 minutes. They say we only have a few hours of satellite telecommunications. All right, then fire up the old Cold War infrastructure. We're not going to be able to do this alone, Nancy. Mobilize the National Guard. We need to maintain law and order when the news of this breaks. I want every governor in every state kept in the loop for as long as we can. Folks, there is no handbook or plan for any of this. We all need to act from our gut and just hope and pray that we made the right decision. I just have an idea of what's to come. It may help you prepare. Go ahead. The anomaly is a gravitational vacuum. A black hole? No. A black hole is omnidirectional. This has a focal point. It is direction. Think of a flashlight. Instead of emitting light, it, it sucks everything in. You do mean everything? Everything. Matter. Matter. Antimatter. Antimatter. Light. Gravity. Time. So, yes, this time is a quantifiable object like space. Matter. Gra gravity. It's moving on a path that put it in place to directly impact Earth in 86 hours. <laughs> and that's it. When when it hits us, it's it's zero time. We are we're gone. We are out of it. We are we are, we are going down to Bunky Town. We're gonna be done before that for humanity anyway. In 10 to 12 hours it's going to exert a slight gravitational pull on the moon and the planet. Weather patterns and the tide is going to rise and the water cycle is going to be accelerated. And there is a high possibility that a, a vapor canopy will be created. <clears throat> Thick atmosphere keeping moisture closer to the surface of the planet. Thankfully, we've depleted the ozone enough that the pollution, it's not going to be catastrophic, but it's going to be really... It'll be rough. It's going to be rough. And then gravity. Soon after that, gravity will be affected and things will progressively grow lighter. And as it nears the perihelion, or its nearest place to the uh, orbit of the planet, it's going to create a large vacuum. 
on the first pass, it's going to go one, maybe two miles deep. And we predict that it will reach its perihelion and impact the Far East first. Somewhere between Australia and yeah, Japan. Depending on the time and, and the angle. The, the exact point. And as the Earth rotates, it's going to rotate right into the vacuum. Even if we survive the first day or two, on day three, the entire planet will be consumed. How good is this assessment? Well, this is the real deal, sir. I'll call the president. Thank you. All of them. Any chance of stopping this thing? That's what we're trying to do, sir. To be honest, it doesn't look good. damage across the country. The uh, polar shift triggered a uh, chain of reactions. Uh, we've got massive earthquakes all along the San Andreas. Los Angeles, San Francisco, both badly hit. What about the anomaly? Too early to tell, but no immediate reaction. I can't believe it all comes down to Avril Levine and Poindexter at this point. Well, you better start believing. Find some religion, huh? He's saying something about you guys going to Houston. I don't know. Will you, will you please talk to him, Dad? As you have said, over here is talking. No. Oh. Um, so what are you doing? You have to take me to Houston. This place you can see needs my help.
was the National Order Service. We've got ties shifting. Our teams in tropical storms developing in the eastern seaboard. Jesus. Cancel this thing out. At least dilute it. Where can we get one? Particle accelerator. I mean, we could build it there and then somehow transplant it. Which is impossible. We don't even know if they exist. There's no Sam Smite suitcase built for dark matter. Not to mention that if this goes wrong, the whole planet will be reduced to antimatter, just a big cloud of dust and gas. You are still thinking way too inside the box. I don't care how you think, just keep thinking. Now, we're running out of time. The three of you seem to think that this is some kind of a, a game. What up in each other with, uh, with uh, uh, bullshit math and physics? People are dying. In about an hour, a tsunami is going to hit Manhattan. Now, get to work. Leo. Yeah? Take your home. We have a okay. call. We have the keys. Be back. I will. Come on. What's going on? Terry wants me to take him to Houston, to the Space Center. Why? We think she's got this thing figured out. You think he's got this thing figured out too, don't you? Maybe. I don't know. Ben. Ben. Your brother's a really sweet guy, but he has a mental disorder, honey. You cannot take him seriously. What if he's right? I always thought he was just this database of useless information, but he taught Samantha how to read yesterday. take him to Houston, to the Space Center. We think she's got this thing figured out. You think he's got this thing figured out too, don't you? Maybe. I don't know. You cannot take him seriously. What if he's right? I always thought he was just this database of useless information, but he taught Samantha how to read yesterday, and then he figured out how to make a generator out of car parts in a matter of hours. He retains information. Remember the story about Sam's bus yesterday? What if this disaster is like that bus? And we can avoid it if we just listen to him. 
Let me bring him in here. Let him explain it to you. Anomaly is dark matter. It's a collection of quarks. Quarks are generic particles, but they come in different types. There's six different types of quarks. And dark matter is formed when quarks up, down, strange quarks bond. This makes a new form of matter because the particles don't decay the way they should. This matter creates an unnatural gravitational pull. It draws everything in and then deconstructs it. As the matter that is attracted to it starts to get closer to the center, Time slows down. And we don't know what's caused its existence. It could be a, a variety of factors. Random chance, really. That's the only way that we can stop this thing. We can slow it down. There's another one close to it. If we can create a dark matter cluster, the force of the gravity between them will cancel each other out. Create a wormhole, a bridge between the two. All right, that sounds good. How do we do it? We need supercharged, accelerated particles. The ones at CERN in Geneva. I think it work. How do we get it into space? We have to move it somehow. How much time do we have left? The first wave of destruction is in Asia. About eight hours. Final destruction, 32 hours. No way. We can't even get a shuttle off the ground at that length of time. You have to take me to Houston. The space agency needs my help. I thought you'd say that. The only other option is, is a nuclear reaction. It can launch to the right velocity, the right angle. But a detonation in space could give us what we need. What type of device? It would have to be a thermonuclear weapon. One that's relying on fusion. Not fission. And we'd have to launch one or more. We can collide. You have to take me to Houston. The space agency needs my help. And that's what we have to do. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't quite know what you're saying. And what makes you think the government hasn't already thought of this? Because if they did, they would have already done it. What's going on? to take him to Houston, to the Space Center. Why? We think she's got this thing figured out. Stephen Hawking living in their house, they probably think it's local. Okay, so front of drones, the little highways it is. It's gonna add some time on the drive. Well, it'll take us like four hours to get to Houston for the reunion. Yeah, I guess it's gonna take more like six. Same cider on the lot. Yeah, traded it for a wedding gown. Don't forget to take those. These are you're gonna have to save the world, and that's not gonna be good for your blood pressure. Space agency needs my help. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Americans, 
anyone who can hear the sound of my voice or see this transmission. Today, we face an international crisis, a global crisis, one that no one expected, one that appears is impossible to stop. There is no plan to prevent this impending disaster. Ephemeris, and that will give us the distance between the comet and planet Earth. According to Marsden 85. Now that we have the comet's orbit. Yeah, you actually have a really great facial structure. I if I turn this beard down a little bit. And I love your hair. Thank you. Okay, so how are we going to do this? I talk about the discovery, and you... Talk about how urgent how, it is how, that we take action. How do we say it? I mean, how, should, shouldn't we practice it or write it out beforehand? Get you some water? Oh, you water, yeah, water would be nice. You are here now, you are here now, you are here now. Eleven to devil and elephants, eleven to devil and elephants, eleven to devil and elephants, eleven to devil and elephants. You have to take me to Houston. The space agency needs my help. How many terms do you have to good approximation? Marsden 85. Now that we have the comet's orbit, 